My personal journey of discovery has me more than five weeks deep into this exotic and enlightening expedition. I've traveled all over the northern region of Central America, and while exploring the beauties of Belize and Guatemala, it's become crystal clear just how rich these countries are in both natural treasures and in ancient Mayan history. By immersing myself fully in this culture, I've literally tasted what the wilds of Central America are all about. This week, I travel south, crossing the border into Costa Rica, the eco-adventure mecca of the world. Well, grab on as we explore a list of must-see locations all over Costa Rica, where the beauty is endless. And the sense of adventure in this Latin American paradise is like nowhere else on the planet. I'm in Costa Rica exploring the epicenter of adventure travel. My name is Keith Newber. I'm an explorer, and I live for adventure. I grew up dreaming of exploring distant lands. Now, not only do I get to live out those fantasies, I get to take you along for the ride. Let's just say I'm on a non-stop adventure quest. My latest journey of discovery has led me here to the wilds of Central America, a land where the road ahead is paved with endless mystery and mind-blowing wonders. Exploration leads to discovery as American explorer Keith Newber chronicles his epic journey through distant lands and exotic places, immersing himself in foreign cultures while exploring a fantasy land of lost worlds. And wild adventure. Costa Rica is the perfect spot for a wide range of incredible natural diversity. Terrain where you can climb a volcano one day and immerse yourself in a rugged rainforest jungle the next. This week, I jump things off, taking you straight into the lush Costa Rican rainforest. We'll soar to the top of the jungle for the ride of your life. From there, our Latin American joy ride rolls on with action from death-defying heights to conquer the extreme sport of canyoning. Then I explore the nearby Monteverde Cloud Forest Preserve, where we get up close and personal with some mind-blowing natural wonders. Then brace yourself to experience Mother Nature's fury as we explore one of the hottest destinations in all of Costa Rica, diving right into its danger zone. This week, we start things off in the capital city of San Jose. Old school, a real live map. Now this place is 300 years old, but at three centuries and counting, this city remains one of Central America's youngest capitals. National Theater. For those of you scoring at home, San Jose's population totals right around a half a million. And while checking things out, you quickly notice a smooth mix of old school and new world charm. In New York City, we have the Pigeon Lady. This is the Costa Rica version. San Jose works is the perfect pit stop right before you cut loose. Trust me, you'll thank yourself for recharging your batteries for all the killer adventures ahead. So I'm temporarily out of service. 20 minutes in line, they run out of money. My luck. Rolling into the spectacular Costa Rican rainforest, I instantly notice all the signs of deforestation. Lumber clearly in high demand, leaving areas like this an all too common sight. It's no secret our rainforests are in danger. Deforestation is a major problem. You have pristine sections of rainforest being wiped out for the purposes of lumber, paper. Deforestation is a major issue throughout the world, but certainly here in Central America. On a positive note, this progressive country is working hard to find alternative ways to protect the environment. One ecotourism stop definitely worth checking out is the small town of Monteverde, which in English translates into Green Mountain. Makes sense as you take in these beautiful surroundings by horseback. 
Or if you're one who gets off on more of an accelerated adventure, make the move and jump on an ATV. A full dose of healthy plant and animal life in the Monteverde Cloud Forest Preserve no doubt inspires conservation. Welcome to Aerial Tram Park, an ecotourism project stretching out more than 220 acres, allowing anyone who strolls in to discover a tropical paradise from a visually unique perspective. So your hat, your hat says save the rainforest. Are we in trouble? Uh, sadly, yes. Sometimes in other countries there is, no, there is no like conscience about the importance of it, but we have to do it. Several reasons, Woo, there are many reasons, but we are working hard because in within 20 years, I would say the fight is not going to be for petroleum, the fight will be for water. And many of these forests keep a lot of streams alive. If these are cut down, we're going to run out of water. They will start drying out and we'll have, we will have a lot of consequences. Right now we are suffering from warm, uh, global warming and it's been uh, an effect from deforestation. Another interesting aspect of the rainforest is that here in the first floor or understory, leaves are very large. And the reason is they need sunlight. So they have to spend energy making those large leaves in order to capture some of the light that comes in here. In this area, just to let you know, uh, there is an estimation of some 2,000 species of plants. And if you pay close attention, it's pretty amazing to see how many different animals and insects thrive in this area. Check out these leafcutter ants, arguably one of Mother Nature's hardest workers. Leafcutter ants are merely one of more than 35,000 insects in this country. Quick note to self, consider opening a chain of bug repellent stands in Costa Rica. So each leaf that they are carrying here will be placed in one of the more than 100 rooms. They have a chambers, they have that amount there. So they deposit those leaves, they will add fecal matter, they will add saliva, and it's going to be a whole fermentation. From that fermentation, there will be a, a mushroom or fungus coming out. That's what they eat. They do not eat the leaves. They eat the fungus that grow out of the leaves that they carry. That's why they're called leaf cutters. The world's best worker right there, right? The Costa Rica Army, by the way. <laughs> the only Costa Rica Army we got, these guys, which in a year they can cut about 17% of all leaves of a rainforest. Lots of lessons here, huh? Throughout Costa Rica, you'll find these guided nature tours, loaded with cool info, compliments of a naturalist guiding the way. Kind of feels like one of those classes you actually stayed awake for in school. Where can you get this for free? <laughs> Pure air. Oh, and you can tell too. I mean, you can tell. It's so, so nice. And this is your office. This is my office. Not a this bad is deal, my man. Place. Time to head on down the road to my next adventure, testing my nerve on a little canyoning, Costa Rica's hottest extreme eco-adventure sport. At this point, I have absolutely no idea what I'm in for, but I am looking forward to the challenge. I've been told it's all the rage down here. Everybody's doing it. Sounds like the kind of peer pressure I like. Canyoning is the new eco-sport sweeping the country. Back home in the southwestern part of the U.S. and in Europe, they call this canyoneering. I call it a blast. You feel better? Yeah, how about a nice cold beer? Where's that stashed around here? A good idea. Here in Costa Rica, local people are known as Ticos, and Ticos have a very special um, feeling toward their natural environment, and they work very hard on preserving what they do have, preserving their culture, preserving their traditions. And that's one of the great things about living in a place like Costa Rica because you know that you're surrounded by people with warm hearts. And uh, we have a, a saying here in Costa Rica, which is, 
pura vida. So pura vida is pure life, and that's what we live in Costa Rica, the pura vida. Those in the know say La Fortuna is Central America's best place to experience adventure to the extreme. I took my crash course, hoping to avoid any, at a place called Lost Canyon. All right, wow. here we are. Wow. <laughs> This is awesome. <laughs> this is Dole Swan. You want to take a look? Yeah, let me take a peek. Wow. This is beautiful back here. Canyoneering is this great new sport that everybody has been asking about. It's really gained a lot of popularity lately. Uh, people have, you know, done a lot of rafting and they've done hiking. And so now the next step is actually going and exploring. Uh, river canyons and so that's what we've done here in Costa Rica and and our topography here is perfect for that kind of sport because we have these beautiful rainforest canyons deep slot canyons where you can make your way down uh, jumping and climbing down and repelling so um, it's gaining a lot of popularity and people love it and it's and Costa Rica is really the best place to do it Canyoning usually has to do with climbing, jumping, and rappelling into one of these. These are slot canyons. This is one of the canyons in La Fortuna. Um, there's a lot of waterfalls here. It's a big volcanic area, uh, a lot of pristine jungle. Canyoning enthusiasts will tell you the kind of ravines or valleys that really turn them on are the kinds which cut into rocks. Those with steep sides, great for breathtaking rappels. A lot of the canyons, wherever you go in the world, have different features and different aspects. And so to run a commercial trip, for example, and have tourists come down and do it in a safe way, takes a very special area. You should see the comments that people give us. Every single day they say, this is the best thing I've ever done in my life, and I'm definitely going to come back and do it. I'm going to tell all my friends and family about it. So Costa Rica really has you know, some of the most exciting places for adventure, especially for cannoneering. What kind of equipment do you need for all this? Well, the pros tell me descending rings, climbing harness, static climbing ropes, and of course, safety helmets. You know, the kind you used to wear when your mom harnessed you to the clothesline to keep you in the yard. Alejandro, he will stay at the bottom. How is there? Lower belay. What he needs to do is just pull the rope, squeeze and release, okay? Squeeze and release. Mm -hmm. Okay, hey. all right. Here we go. Let me check. That's for security. It's a nice view, huh? It's a beautiful view. Okay, I like that. Uh, this hand over. Okay. Right here? Yeah, over there. Gotta tell you, I could get addicted to this canyoning. A chance to play real life Spider-Man, soak up all the beautiful nature while testing my courage and intestinal fortitude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's a high dose of pure adrenaline. Man, that's fun. They need to put this feeling in a can and sell it. something here. And also this is kind of like a, a, a really nice rush of uh, adrenaline and things, you know. So when you come to these uh, wild canyons that we have everywhere here, our topography is amazing. So just to grab your ropes, man, and walk, uh, I don't know, eight hours getting to a canyon where even you're going to have just one rappel, man, that's enough. People will be like, ooh, kind of, it's kind of scary, you know, it's kind of high, but hey, come on, you, you got to push dance and go, go, you have to do it, you know, this is the, the only chance that you have to enjoy something like that, and then, of course, you got to be like, ooh, man, but um, you have to do it. Because of all the great ecology here and the beautiful nature that we have around, it goes hand in hand with adventure. And so if you're going to want to do adventure activities, the best place to be doing it is in a pristine, beautiful location. And that's what Costa Rica is all about. Beautiful jungles, awesome rainforests, amazing rivers, tropical locations, so we have it all. Now an Explore Quiz. Costa Rica has an official, unofficial motto that is used as a daily greeting by Costa Ricans. What is this motto and what does it mean? 
We'll be back to see how you did a little later on. Before we bounce out of La Fortuna in Monteverde, how about a stop at the Batcave to meet a real-life Batman? In Costa Rica, there's a lot of t really terrible misconceptions about bats. Like, they're all vampires, you know? And it's, it's hard to get by that. So uh, we finally focused on uh, an exhibit where we could charge admission, hopefully uh, finance the exhibit, and at the same time uh, reach a large number of not only foreign visitors, but local people. Our focus is generally conservation, but we do this by teaching people about the biology of bats. As soon as they understand what bats do in natural ecosystems, then they begin to understand why bats are so important to humans. In the tropics all around the world, we have bats that eat fruit. And what do you do with the fruit after you eat it? Well, uh, you digest the fruit, but you drop the seed, you know, and, uh, and you've planted the seed. So bats are often more important even than birds in uh, seed dispersal in the tropics, and that also has been proved in, in scientific studies. So these are really important animals. No doubt, Costa Rica's got some wild wildlife. I've been in jungles all over the world, but I normally don't slow down for snakes and reptiles. My usual game plan when I see these, keep on trucking. Snakes and lizards should be cool. Experts put the number of reptile species in Costa Rica's jungles at over 200. And no shocker here, over half are snakes. This is a musarana. A musarana. And they uh, eat poisonous snakes. They eat poisonous snakes. But are not poisonous to us, correct? No. Well, the sea snakes uh, are very common also in Costa Rica. Uh, this is the snakes with the widest distribution in the world. Yeah, well, the, in the sea snakes, we can find sea snakes only in the Pacific side of Costa Rica. And uh, they are very poisonous. And this is the only snake we don't have antivenom. If you get bitten, you are in serious problem because we don't have an antidote for, the, for this snake. So talk to me about this guy. Some, uh, some boas contractor, the small one, they, uh, they, look, uh, they are always looking for food, but the big ones, maybe bigger than this one, uh, they just wait for the opportunity to get food to catch some animal. Its brain is too small, so they just use the brain for reproduction time or for, for defense yeah, or for food. Now what do you feed this guy? Uh, well, th this is this is snakes. Uh, this is snake eat also. A mice, we give them mice, and sometimes when we have babies from boa constrictor or fertile lands, we give, we give him uh, the, the fertile lands snakes. Yeah. babies. Yeah, we, we breed some fertile lands. Yeah. And again, he'll he'll bite mm -hmm. and then constrict. Yeah. And then devour. Yeah. Right. So when you're out in the jungle mm -hmm. hiking, uh -huh. and you see a snake, what's the best advice? Don't get too close. Give them and, room. <laughs> yeah, and don't disturb them. For these creatures to coexist in this diverse ecosystem, it's important to realize that it takes violent volcanic activity to enhance the fertile soils, which cover the majority of the Costa Rican territory. Earlier we asked, what is the motto of Costa Rica and what does it mean? If you answered A, Pura Vida, you are correct. Pura Vida translates to pure life. To Costa Ricans, Pura Vida is more than a common way to greet each other. It defines their outlook on life. This expression conveys their sense of freedom, happiness, peace, and tranquility, living here in this land of rainforests, waterfalls, and natural wonders. With 112 documented structures, Costa Rica is one of the most active volcanic regions in the world. Join me as I explore Costa Rica's ring of fire. We 
We've heard all about it. The devastation, the loss of human life. The Poas volcano near the capital city of San Jose rumbled recently on January 8, 2009, creating a magnitude 6.1 earthquake. It was Costa Rica's worst quake in 150 years. For a closer look at what's going on in the heart of its danger zone, Costa Rican volcanologist Alicia Gonzalez and I are off to explore Poas and the other two volcanoes surrounding San Jose. Looking back on my first week in Costa Rica, I reflect on all the natural wonders Costa Rica has to offer. The stunning beauty, the amazing adventures, and the cool ways to take it all in. And along the way, I was able to appreciate just how precious and fragile our planet Earth truly is. What are you going to do with the uh, wonderful footage that we captured today? We will do a, a lot of uh, educational stuff. We have students, we have a library where we can show some of the uh, beautiful summits that we are not able to see otherwise. So thanks to AeroDiva, you were able to capture some, some, uh, some great footage that will be used for educational purposes. And thanks to you guys too. Oh, it was a great flight. Enjoyed having you as my wingman. It was very good. For more information on the expedition, visit amxhd.info.